Alright, we're back with Helen. Ah, how do I get him keep him from getting into everything? And you just need to assume. I mean, if you said, well, I'm babysitting. Oh my god, he took that phone. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm going to tag Godfrey. Um, a three-year-old. You're not going to plan on correcting this kid for everything. Oh. Build some relationship first of what's right or wrong. Oh, they're sleeping over there. Look at her looking at me. She's saying her, to herself, this thing. Oh, look, she's going for the phone. I should get that phone in a minute. Watch. All I gotta do is look at it and nod my head. Mm hmm. There she goes. Watch. She's coming up. So th this one's just waiting for me to get the urge to feed her in the garage. Yeah, she's, just, she's just looking for it to happen. So she said, what's the correct? I, I'm not going to just suddenly start attacking him. So if he said, so do a send away with this box or watch. I can send it from the other side. I don't have to be between the door and here. I can send her from here and she'll go ahead of me. Watch. So, I think this guy over there. Yoshi! <laughs> there's the, oh, he went back to the door. He went back to the door to wait for me. These things are big babies. If you said they want to be, you know, they don't want to be out anywhere by themselves. Hardly. So, I've got the pager on him. That's what I did just in. I did the pager, but I went on faith and I walked away. And if he said, what did he see? He saw Dave Haas. All right, so I can push him. I can start getting where I can push him to that platform with the pager. So I'm gearing up. I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready. Go on. <laughs> Had to throw on the brakes. So you saw, I hope you saw that send away Michael Schlute. And I mean, oh, that was unbelievable. I think it's important to think of that just as a subtask. I'm not trying to get it up and twirl it around right away all the time. I don't even do it like that. They just start twirling on their own. Am I wrong? Yeah, you're not going to get this thing get out of the sight. <laughs> it's hard for people. People don't want to. People get too far away from the platform, is what I've noticed. Instead of just hugging the platform. Oh, be careful. So the pager was concurrent with my leg. He said, oh, it looks a little augmented. Yeah, it looks a lot augmented. <laughs> I'm only having to augment though. You know, again, I'm not using my whole body. Da -da 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 -da. I'm augmenting certain parts you know I'm just augmenting my arm making it look because why that's all it needs to see yeah 
if someone says, let's go, I don't, you know, if I'm ready to go and they say, let's go, I don't need to have them say, let's go now where we said we were going before to the this, that, and the other. All I need to hear is let's go. So that's all he needs to, oh, he's my little love of my life though. He has a little white on his chest. Apparently they thought that was just a serious flaw. I was like, oh my God, I just consider that like a few little white hairs. My God, I mean, oh yeah, they thought that was terrible. <laughs> Yeah, they said, well, what, you know, they register them, apparently. I didn't realize they register them. I, I understand. They're very professional. You know, they register them before they send you the papers or whatever, because I said, oh, I probably won't even register them. And, um, but, yeah, no, to them, that's a big, big flaw. Big, big flaw. I mean, by the time he's full-grown, you're not even going to be able to see that. You can't even see it unless he's on there. Okay, so if you said, what should you do? Yoshi! using the pager when he's up there yet. I'm using, well, I am though, because I'm using it to, let me get on this side. Let me get him and go away. Oh. <laughs> right there with the pager. Oh, he's the best puppy in the world. Again, he already sees it's kind of slow, but look at it, look at it. Put a lot of effort and try to get back to that platform. <laughs> oh, he's good. He's starting to do a little air, uh, little air Yoshi. No air Yoshi. No air Yoshi, Tizzy. You do that when you're older. You can't do that till you do. He's doing chin resting, Yoshi. And gone. I'm adding the little breaks. So if you say, where am I doing the pager? I'm bumping it every time I sort of have that augmented movement away. So, boom. It's just concurrent. If you say, well, so much happening. Yes, if you're just standing there and start hitting it, that's what these people go wrong. Is this is what they say, Godfrey. Oh, don't use it, it freaks them out. Okay, if I'm expecting a text message from my friend and I get one, it doesn't freak me out. Very specific about the feet, though. It wouldn't be too hard probably to teach him to run around a cone. He'll already go away. But if you said, "When am I doing it?" I'm doing it concurrent with, you know, I'm swinging this little bucket. You know, oh, this is playing the role of my purse. <laughs> yeah, if you are a girl, you should train a dog. Oh, here. I'm going to get into some real technical stuff here. If you're a girl, you need to train your dog to walk when you have a purse. Yeah. That's only realistic because what if you're going somewhere and you need to take your purse with you, you know, to some remote ice cream stand or something. <laughs> what? Everybody's like, what? It's true, though. I've had to walk before with my purse. Not because I was leaving the dog outside a store. I don't even, even like, oh, I know. Oh, I know. I remember. We used to go to that farmer's market thing. Remember? I don't know if you guys any of you remember that. It was the outdoor farmer's market. Oh, I was buying the salsa. Oh, I was addicted to that salsa. I should go look it up. Oh, I'd buy jars of it and just gulp it down. Practically drinking it out of the jar, how good it was. <laughs> and other stuff. There was other stuff there, but we would just go and train the dogs there in video. It was in Port Orange. It was, it was fun. Okay, so he's going that way. Yoshi! Yeah, he's right on top of you. Oh, for sure. Sure. So I've just inserted the pager into the dynamic seamlessly, basically, with this puppy. He said, what's the key? Again, I'm making it concurrent with other things. 
if my phone is just vibrating for no reason, I can't make any correlation. I now understand it vibrates it means someone's messaging me. Oh, you little chin resting Yoshi. So ready and so I really just kind of made a, you know, I'm making it look like I'm gearing up. I'm being very deliberate. You're not gonna beat him. Twirls around. He's so damn cute. Anyway, so I've got three pairs of glasses, and you know, if you, if you said, should you, yeah, if they keep staying there, you should go back. It, is always, it makes them feel like they're in control. If you said, no, during the training, I like to let the dog know I'm in control the whole time. And I'd say the only problem with that is that's not sustainable. It's, it's not sustainable. If you said, well, I'm going to take these 20 minutes and be totally in control. The rest of the time, though, my control is going to be very limited. If you said, what's my response? We need to get the dog to act in free agency. In other words, it's doing these things because it thinks it's controlling us. And, you know, if you said, so we're like, it's sort of like, um, you know, uh, the, what do they call it? The counter spy or whatever. Whatever they call that. The, where the spy is like spying for us, but then they are really spying for the other people. I can't remember what it's called. I knew what concertina wire was, though, for some reason. They showed a picture of them putting up what they claimed to be barbed wire on the Mexican border. If you said, what did I say? I said, that's not barbed wire, it's concertina wire. If you said, then what did you say? I don't know how I know that. <laughs> I said, I don't know how I know that. I mean, so if you said, well, how could you start doing the heel and just bend him back in my direction? And this certainly doesn't hurt. It's gonna be big, you know. So if you said you want it to sit, no, I don't. Okay, so if you said, no, what about the del delivered a hand? I might need to go get more treats, hang on. Okay, so what I want you guys to think of is the delivered to hand. You're obviously the lowest common denominator. If you said, what do you mean? You have to think of it. If I came here and said, here, they handed you my camera and said, here, make a video. And you never had this kind of phone. You had a different kind of phone. You didn't have an iPhone. And I just said, make a video. And you didn't really know how to do it. <laughs> and so I immediately just said, you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. Instead of saying, look, here, this, 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 it's five steps. And if you said that, then I, yes. Then people know how to do it. If someone just hands me their phone, like a Galaxy or something, I don't know how to do a video on it. So what about an iPhone? Oh, I can do better than them. <laughs> I go, here, give it to me. I'll take the pictures. Uh, but, you know, that's how you have to think of it. So if you said, so just saying, put it in my hand isn't, in that, no, it's fractions of everything fractional behaviors. If he says starting with what, looking at it, 
looking at the object. So I'm gonna do this real quick. I'm gonna make a video of it. So if you said so, start out. The lowest common denominator is the seated handler. I, it is. It is. And if you said what's the lowest thing, I mean, you're just saying I'm gonna get it to put it in my hand from that far away. Because if I can get it to do that, I can blow that up. If I can't do it, get it to do that, it's going to be just all fractured, and I'm going to have to be saying, put it in my hand, put it in my hand. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to work. That's the same thing with the trained retreat. You've got to just be able to say, it's got to be delivered exactly to my hand, or it's not going to be right. So I have three pairs of glasses that are the same. The lowest common denominator is just one. That's a subtask though. So if you said there's stuff less than that, yes, less than that was just looking at it. <laughs> so that's right, he likes to climb up here too. So if you said, well, you can make, so you can make that a little bit bigger. Yeah, I can make it a little bit bigger by going like this. He puts it right in my hand. Oh. <laughs> that was a crash. I don't know if you're there, Mike, but that's what she does. She does a double toss. So if you said then what? Well, then, whoops, uh oh. Growing up here was a separate behavior anyway. He was the one that matched it together. Molly points it out. I'm gonna do a little video. I mean, I'm just over the moon with this puppy. Angie had to get another puppy. I had to get another puppy. It was just too sad the way everything happened with Fetty. And I still, I, I loved that dog. I, I, I told that dog every day, I love you, Fetty. Fetty, I love you, Fetty. That's what I told him every day. I love you, Fetty. Fetty, I love you. But this little guy, no, he's my new best friend. He's my new best friend. So if you said, how could you make it bigger? There's the only way to make things, the only way to make this exercise bigger is to use more objects or more distance. <laughs> you know, come on. There isn't any other way. If you said, get giant sunglasses. Well, that's true. My job is throw my hands back. She's unbelievable. You're definitely getting paid, Molly. You're only getting minimum wage, though. Oh, she saw one that went under there. I think I put another one under there, look. If you said she'll look back under there, she probably will. If you said under what premise? Hunt the old fall. If you said, what if they hunt the old fall and it's there twice? What if hunting the old fall leads to success? They're really gonna hunt it for old fall. <laughs> they are, that's how it works. He said, what about a credit card? That'll be easy for him. He was chewing it too much. I saw that. <laughs> abandoned, abandoned. <laughs> You've got to be ready to do that. She see, they don't do that all the time. Oh, that's not working. Quick, <laughs> come up with something else. Yeah, that's part of your skill. Uh-oh. <laughs> Better come up with something else quick. <laughs> that's not working. <laughs> I gotta go find that one dog, Cooper. I mean, that thing taught me a lot about, it had had the collar used on it the wrong way and it was slow. That was the one I probably maybe really first started to really running away. It was another choice. It would just shut down at a distance or start going slower. It was, it was terrible. I'm gonna go find it. You know, the thing, the, the episodes, that I don't really think are that interesting, then, you know, like that one of the Akita, apparently Sharon found that one good. If you said, what was it? I don't even know what it was. I don't even know. I don't even remember. If I see one that's an intro, though, that's like 15 minutes long, or okay, if you said he's biting your arm like a sleeve, I see that. If you said, what should you do? Make sure no rewards happen too quick after that. Oh, deflect onto these glasses. Look at him. He's a little chin rester. 
Listen, you little manipulator. <laughs> you little peanut. Anyway, he's super cute. I'm gonna make a, a real quick video to send to his breeder of him picking up the glasses because he's just super, super cute. And I mean, Hi, Kelly. I hope you've been working on these things, girl. I mean, I'm so in love with this puppy. That other one I had got... No one even really knows what happened. They ended up saying it had intestinal cancer. If you said, did you believe that? No. No, I didn't believe it. And then they ended up giving it all this chemo and stuff. If you said, oh, did that help? No. They killed it. They killed it. It was just terrible. It really, really was. It was just... You know, if you if you have dogs for any length of time, she said it was a misdiagnosis, in my opinion, yes. They initially diagnosed it with leptospirosis. If you said, well, that doesn't sound like any reason, any reason to panic. I was in a fucking total panic. Talking that leptospirosis. If you said, why? Well, I, I planted it in the woman's head, I realize now, by saying it chased the squirrels. So she got it in her head that it had, if you said, is that what it had? No. But they fucking let me sit there for like three days thinking, oh... I said, well, you know, I mean, how worried do I need to be? I've got a whole kennel full of dogs here. Oh, well, it's treatable. Oh, yeah, just six, seven, eight, ten thousand dollars a dog. It's, it's a treatable disease, so don't worry. Okay. And people can catch it, too. That's when all these people in Puerto Rico were getting it. So if you said, then what were you doing? Oh, my God, Kelly, I was looking in the mirror every two seconds in my eyes. Oh, my God, am I getting jaundice? Am I getting jaundice? <laughs> I didn't even have that. <laughs> you said, it's like a big worry wart. You're probably the same way, girl. I think anything. You start looking up online. I don't even do it anymore. If I get anything, I, I just take them to the emergency. I take them to that Deland Animal Hospital. It's 24 hours. It's like a big animal hospital. They got nine vets. I don't even look stuff up online anymore. I just take them over there. Anyway, that's where we're at. But I'm systemically moving away. He definitely sees me as, if you said, right, just sees you as a moving target. Oh, gosh. Pushing. Yeah, that's why he sees me. Which makes me way more fun. And if you said, well, you're just exploiting the fact that they innately chase things. Yes. And that's what we have to do. I think we have to think of that with dogs. If you said, well, what do you mean? People can exploit you. Good God, yes. Amazon exploits me every day. If you said, oh, they chase me around the internet and say, still interested? Or that might be eBay. And show me pictures of stuff I was looking at. If you said, oh, are you still interested? I, I really am. <laughs> so I go back and buy it. <laughs> you know, so if you said they're exploiting the fact that, yes, they're exploiting the fact. If you said, do you have a problem with that? Not really, because I like this stuff. <laughs> I like it a lot. If you said, what is it? Oh, just various brands of dog food. <laughs> Today I just got the Dave's Stew. If you said, I never heard of Dave's dog food. Neither did I <laughs> until I saw it on Amazon. <laughs> Anyway, hi, Gokul. All right, guys, I'm going to go back. I'm getting one of the lab puppies, but I'm just gonna, it's going to be Puppy Saturday. And, you know, you need to understand if you can't train a puppy or if you have a puppy that's stubborn, if there's no stubborn puppy. There's no stubborn dog. There's strategies that aren't working. And you've got to say to yourself, my God, the only thing I've got over this animal is intellect. I can't outrun it. And whatever I'm doing is not tricking this thing into doing what I want is what you've got to say when people start saying stubborn, stubborn, stubborn. I've said it before too, but you know, in older dogs, it's really just fortified against what the people thought were corrections, but what the dog just thought were reactions. But there is intractable. And if you said, what does that mean? Yeah, I'm just really not that interested in learning and you know, something maybe not the brightest bulb and you know, these kind of things. You know, that if you were choosing from a group of dogs, you're not going to say, you know, the one with no drive that isn't interested in food and seems to not be very smart is going to be deemed the most tractable, <laughs> you know, on a scale. You know, if you said it was a scale of one to ten, you know. So anyway, all right, well, hang on. I'm going to get these, uh, one of these lab puppies out and do lab puppy training because, you know, that's the most popular breed and, you know, you got to help people. When people say it's all in how you raise them, if you say, what do I say? That's good and well, but nobody knows how to raise them. So, <laughs> you know, you might want to tell them how to do it because they've all got anecdotal inf misinformation. They all say it already knows how to sit and shake. Oh, boy. You know, that's like going down to Harvard and said my... My child can already recite the alphabet. And I'm saying, man, man kid's seven years old. 
you know, that's not going to get this kid into Harvard. Come on, lady. You know, so, you know, if you went there and said the seven-year-old is read War and Peace and can recite it by memory. Okay, let's hear it. Let's, uh, we got a full ride here. Diggy Hauser. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I'll be right back.